after you select a method of manufacturing for a job, edit its operations to reflect the routing this job needs to finish its production quantity. Expand the job tree view until you can select the operation. The job details operations detail sheet displays. The Oper field displays the sequence number that identifies the operation. These numbers use increments of 10. To change the operation that runs at this point in the routing, select an option from the operation list, the operations from Operation Maintenance Display. Operation standards define default setup and production estimates. If an operation consistently takes the same amount of time, create an operation standard for it. The Quantities Date section shows the planned production, scrap, and run quantities this operation produces. Click the Labor Entry list to define how labor is entered for this operation. These options include backflush and quantity only. The Labor Reporting Resource area defines the scheduling resources used for setup and production. The Quantity Parent specifies the quantity needed to make one unit of the parent assembly part. The application multiplies this value against the assembly production to calculate the production quantity. The scrap quantity factor can either be a specific quantity or a percentage. This value increases the material requirement quantity. The setup per machine area defines this operation's preparation time. Enter how many hours are needed to set up the operation. Then the production per machine area defines the rate at which this operation produces parts, like two pieces per hour. For the scheduling factors, first indicate how many scheduling blocks this operation needs. This is how many resources a single job operation requires to run. Typically, you enter one in this field. Next, define what relationship this operation has with the preceding operation, either start to start, finish to start, or finish to finish. These relationships indicate whether this operation starts at the same time as the preceding operation, begins when the previous operation ends, or finishes at the same time as the previous operation. When the current and previous operations have a start-to-start -start relationship and a part quantity can advance to the next operation before it's done, select a send-ahead type like hours or pieces. Then in the Send Ahead Offset field, enter the quantity that will move on to the next operation. To divide the operation's costs and project analysis, assign an analysis code to it. These codes group material, operation, assembly, and header costs into different categories. The first article quantity indicates how many finished pieces will be submitted for inspection. Select the final operation to indicate this operation calculates the job completion quantity. If this operation was not included in the original job estimate, select the Added Operation checkbox. You can then track this operation change with an AP invoice entry. Activate the Auto Receive checkbox to automatically receive labor and receipt transactions to inventory. To cause this operation to send out a global alert when it's done, select the Alert on Completion checkbox. The Setup group specifies the group you use for the operation schedule on the scheduling board. Each group has a priority value. The higher the value, the higher priority this operation has during scheduling. If you need to generate serial numbers for the parts, select the Serial Numbers Required from this Operation checkbox. And that's it! When you finish editing the operation, click Save.